Okay, we have our Honda Accord here, 2004, and you can see that the engine light is on. So we're going to have to find out what is making that engine light turn on. We have here a tool purchased from where? Oh. That's Amazon. Okay, and it is to help diagnose what are the problems with the engine. And it was, what, about $30? Yeah. Okay, so it's called an Autel and Maxi Scan. It has been attached to an outlet under here, under the dashboard. Okay, and now here's, we're going to get it going. Okay, so you pushed enter. Yeah, push and enter. Say there's a one arrow. Now I push here. It's a one pending arrow. I scroll down to see what is the problem. So this is the engine error code called P0141. So we're going to check how do you interpret the error code? What is it? This is Honda's uh, uh, repair manual. It says P0141 is secondary oxygen sensor heater. So that's the problem. So let's uh, uh, discuss uh, what could be the problem. This is the oxygen sensor. There are four wires. Two of them, the same color, is for the heater. The possible problem could be the heater inside the sensor need to be replaced. You have to replace the whole thing. It could be the second problem is the wiring. It could be the wiring some disconnected. In order to decide whether it's a heater problem, you can have the your multimeter and to measure is it really like a few ohms. If there are few ohms, then the heater is fine. But if it's infinite, then you have to replace the sensor, this unit. So let's see if you do want to replace, and what are the options. And here, what I found the price. If you want to use Universal, go to either O'Reilly or uh, AutoZone because it's cheaper. If you decide to get an OEM, the Honda dealer actually is cheaper than the Bosch version. It's a uh, $50 cheaper. There's another one, it's a Denso on AutoZone, 153. I got the uh, set from AutoZone because of a cheaper one. I just want to try. And uh, AutoZone also give you a free rental for the socket, a special tool to install the sensor. If you're very sure that you need uh, the kind of uh, parts, and there are lots of a uh, cheaper one on Amazon, I didn't get it because I wasn't sure whether I can return it but if you know the parts number you for sure you need that parts you can get it from Amazon this kind of a repair is not as critical if it's not repaired you may not pass the smog check and there's maybe a little bit of fuel efficiency but you're not in a hurry to fix it so you can wait until you order a uh, online parts uh, wait for the arrival I got a universal oxygen sensor plus they rent the socket for free this is a socket kits i got from autozone because of the wire the socket has a slot so you can put the, the wire through here so that's a kit for installing it and you said they rent it for free in other words they lend it out uh yeah they charge me 25 dollar but when you return it you get it back get it back for oh free. i see yeah and there this is a sensor this is the wire see wire is if you chase the wire all the way it will come to this position the seat is above this this is how you use the wrench that will come in you can turn it but let's not uh, take this off now let's measure the resistance see whether this is faulty okay so now we're on top we're back in the car and right under that front right seat and you see some cables and this cable is not this cable is not but you have to really open the carpet under it you see here you can snatch this you can undo this so this is the one connect to the sensor if you see there are four wires two of them in the black and in the back there's one one blue and one white. The blue and white for the oxygen sensor. The two black wires are the heating element. In order to have a fast sensor, those two black wires are connect to the heater. And let's uh, measure the resistance. So I'm going to show the resistance. Start the two. Shoot the meter. 
See, that's the meter, 6.4 ohm. So this makes me think this heater maybe is not that bad. So we have to decide whether this heater uh, is really faulty or not. I'm going to use the scanner to erase the engine light. I press erase here, erase. It says yes or no, yes. So it's going to erase that engine light. See, the engine light went off. This is the third time I have done it. It came back. I think I have to re replace the oxygen sensor so what is my option I need to replace the oxygen sensor or is it still wiring problem I really don't know if I do want to replace the oxygen sensor the advantage of a universal is that you don't have to remove the seat you see on the other side the seat covers the wires and if you use a universal you don't need to remove the seat you just connect it under the car but disadvantage is you cut the wire make a connection and maybe there's an erosion there and second disadvantage is universal it's a 4 ohm when it's cold I'm not sure when it's hot what's the resistance original Honda is 6 ohm it's a little bit more efficient another thing I'm puzzled after watching Bosch installation video is that the Bosch says there's an air flowing along the wires watch the clip this is a YouTube video to properly install your Bosch oxygen sensor with smart link connector please follow these basic instructions it's critical to understand that in order for the oxygen sensor to work properly air must be drawn into the sensor through the connecting wires that was really strange how can you have an air go along the wire there's no way on the box it says patented waterproof connector I assume that's this plastic enclosure it's for the waterproof, not for the air to come through as the video shows. Because even if you have the wire, there's the air coming here and you connect this long wire, you have an opportunity of air going in from here. Is that possible the air go through inside the wire? It's not possible either because this little connector connect two wires together. If I remove this, if I blow air into it, it's air tight. The air cannot go through from one end of this to the other end. If there's an air inside the wire, it cannot go through this and reach the other end. So I think I'm going to return this um, oxygen sensor. If you do want to use universal sensor, you need to make a connection like this. There are four wires and there are different color code. I made the map for you. On this side is the old Honda. On this side is the Bosch. Universal. The sensor out is on the Honda is the white. You need to con connect to the black. White to black. And on the Honda, the blue one, you need to connect to the gray. And on the Honda is the two black wires. You need to connect to Universal Bosch white wires. So I think I will return the Universal oxygen sensor. I will go either online, order a Denso part, or maybe just Honda dealer. There are a few online place for Honda dealers cars I check it's like $70 plus $15 shipping maybe I will go that route but there's really no immediate need to replace it because this is a secondary oxygen sensor not the first one. Oh, by the way when you order online make sure for me at least I need to tell the vendor it has a California emission which is more expensive it's simply providing your VIN number will make sure you get the correct part so I'm going to order a Honda part from online and when I got the part I will do another video just quickly show you how I install it thank you